Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to my longest video yet. For all those who celebrate Christmas, I really hope you enjoyed the holidays. I definitely did and even had some spare time to set up my bullet journal for 2020. And guess what? I'm back at my favorite journal, the Leuchtturm, or however you pronounce it. So a lot went wrong while filming this video. Some parts weren't recorded by my second camera, it turned dark outside and I constantly blocked the view with my own hat. And at one point my cat visited the set. But all things aside, I am really happy with this video and I like my setup for the new year. First I sketched all things out, because normally I am literally with my nose in my book when I'm drawing. Because I want to give you guys a clear view, sketching the setup on forehand really helps. I start off with my key. The theme for the setup this year is botanical. I mainly use fine liners and copper accents. For events I use circles and for tasks I use squares. When I'm finished I can color the shape black. If I'm halfway I fill in half, etc etc. To decorate my key page I doodle some Japanese ginkgo leaves and just regular flowers. Onto my opener. I drew the year in a big and bold font. I printed out my favorite fat font, April Fat Face, and traced the numbers. I'm using Calero colors in a copper tint to fill in 2020. I'm leaving the doodles that I drew around the numbers blank so that I can trace them with my fine liner after the paint has dried. To speed up the paint process you can use a hair dryer.
I always like to add a quote to this page, a bit as an inspirational motivation. I wrote down new beginnings. The next page is 2020 as an overview. This is a horrible page where you have to write all the numbers of all the months down. Of course you don't have to, but I find this page quite convenient, especially when you add the week numbers, which I completely forgot. I just realized this while recording my audio. The left page is for random thoughts. And this is where my cat came in and wanted to say hi. So, hi Floortje! Next up my monthly overview. This is very convenient for planning ahead. You can put your appointments that aren't scheduled in the current month here. I use this quite a lot. For the pages I decided to only write down the first letter of the month in the font April Fat Face. Of course I colored them in with my gorgeous copper paint. After this I'm adding leaves and flowers. I still found the doodles a bit dull, so I added some circles.
Last but not least, my goals for 2020. When I first made this in 2090, I thought I was not going to use this at all. But it turned out to be one of my favorite pages. In 2019, I accomplished a lot of goals I had set for myself. So I decided to do it again for this year. Credits for the idea go to Amanda Rachley. You can choose your own categories. An important one for me this year will be fitness. I started working out quite frequently in 2019 and I'm planning to achieve a lot of goals and exercises in 2020, like a pull up. Uh, I also added categories like personal or creative, hobbies, travel, finances, etc. etc. I'm sure you can make up more categories and if you do, I would love to know. Write them down in the comments if you like. And that's it. This is my setup for 2020. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got a bit inspired. If you want to see more of my work, feel free to check out my Instagram, Dutch underscore Dots. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, you can press the red subscribe button. I really hope to see you next time. So bye guys.